Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today I'd like to show you the scale uh, geometries feature that I just uh, developed. And uh, basically the idea is pretty straightforward. It lets you uh, scale geometries. So let's say you have a slot here like this, and maybe you have a rectangle here that goes like this, and maybe you have a radius uh, for your for your arcs, and uh, let's say you also have a length here. Hey, come here. Uh, let's say you have a length of uh, 50. Uh, then you can select the geometries, use the, um, the scale geometry tool, and uh, you first need to select the reference point from which uh, the geometries will be scaled. So you can use the origin if that's what you want. You can use any point of the of the geometry uh, you want to scale, you can use any point here. Uh, let's let's use maybe the origin here, uh, and then you can see the geometries are scaling, and you see the reference points like the non-scaling point. And the more you move the mouse, and the bigger it gets. Basically, uh, the idea is that the scale factor is determined by the, your grid unit. So here you see if I use uh, if uh, if the distance between the region and uh, my mouse is one grid unit, then it doesn't scale. If it's two, the scale factor will be two. If it's a half, the scale factor is a half, and so on. So currently, it's not that great because you cannot snap to. Um, to the grid, so uh, you cannot easily make uh, a scale factor of two or three and so on. But uh, yeah, snapping to the grid will come. Uh, it's something I have in mind too. Uh, but currently, you can also just use the scale factor in tool settings. You can input the scale factor here, uh, maybe five, and enter. You press enter, and it will just create the geometries as you want. So let's just create them like this. And you see the geometries are scaled, and also the constraints are scaled. So you you don't have to recreate uh, constraints. And um, it also works with more complex objects and construction mode. Let's make a, let's make an ellipse, for instance. Here, uh, you select the ellipse. You can scale it as well. And you can use maybe this point as a reference, and you see you have the ellipse which is scaled. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it, and uh, maybe you have seen here, uh, just next to it, the offset um, uh, button, uh, offset geometries button, but uh, this is actually not ready yet, it's uh, currently under development, so it might need more works and then scaling and rotation, because it's quite a bit more complex, but it, it, should, be, it should be fine, and so it will be ready uh, a bit in the future. Um, other than that, you might have seen here some icons that are not the same as in your FreeCAD, and it's some new icons that I proposed. I just made another video about that, so you can check that out. And lastly, uh, I just created the Patreon account because some people asked me if I had one, and so uh, I think it's actually a good idea because the more money I can get from Patreon, then the more time I can spend on uh, on FreeCAD, so the more feature I can make and and so on. So if you like my my work, consider uh, backing me on Patreon. It's like it will help me uh, spend more time and make more features and so on. So well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.